There was a headhunter who was working with a colleague of mine at Como. And this colleague came to me and she said, there's this position that my headhunters trying to help me get and I think it's at Oprah she goes I'm not qualified for it but you are and she goes take this number of the headhunter I'd never even worked with a headhunter before I didn't even know what they did yeah and uh so I called up this headhunter and I said I am the right person for this job they already know me I have skills I blah 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 she goes send me your reel so I sent her my reel she called me up and said you don't have any Oprah type stories on your reel and I said, nobody has Oprah type stories on their reel because nobody is doing what Oprah's doing. I mean, I had my clothe the, clothe the homeless, feed yeah. the, hun- you know, f- f- feed the hungry. I had those sorts of things on there, which were the closest things to an Oprah type story I could put on the reel. Yeah. But she says, you don't have any Oprah type stories on your reel. And I'm like, well, no one's gonna have it. How, how are you gonna do that? So she goes, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And again, the door was shut on me again. I was so frustrated. And after trying to give up, and then every time I'd try to give up, I'd turn on the Oprah show and she'd say something that would just (laughs) ping me. And it's like, ah, I can't give this up. And so, you tried to give up. I tried. I was about to ask about your ability, like your perseverance, but you were attempting to give this up. I wanted to. But But Oprah wouldn't let you. Well, I don't even think she knew what she was doing to me. But, you know, when you feel in, I think we all have something that we know so strongly inside of ourselves that we can't deny. Yeah. And this was some of those things I couldn't turn away. If you love to make music, you can't not make music. You might do it differently over time, but that's what you're going to do. If you're a funny person, you are going to be funny no matter what you're doing. You can't change who you are. I had this calling to be a storyteller. Yeah. And I was going to do that no matter what happened. Essentially, those were where the best stories were being told. The honest and authentic stories. At that time. At that time. And so what I ended up doing was one morning I thought, I'm going to make a freaking Oprah, Oprah story. I'm going to make a story. And I happened to work with a woman who was so inspiring to me personally. Her son had leukemia and passed away when he was nine. And instead of staying stuck in her bed, she decided to create a grief workshop for children. And she, I mean, to me, she turned her grief into helping others. And I thought, now if that isn't an Oprah story, I don't know what is. So I decided I'm gonna shoot this story. And I sent it to that woman who told me I was too nice. And I said, please look at this. It's two minutes and 36 seconds long. If it sucks, throw it in the garbage and forget I ever talked to you. If it's worthy, please get it to the eyes that need to see it. The next day, I had a phone call from the Oprah show, Diane Hudson, who was the executive producer at the time, and she says, who are you? What do you want? And I'm thinking, don't be nice. (laughs) Don't be nice. But (laughs) I'm thinking, well, if you like what you saw, I'll give you more of that. And she gave me a chance. 